We are live on location right outside Orlando, Florida at Randall Salute Partners, I guess that we should call it. Randall's Construction. There's so much going on here that it is actually going to blow your mind. We're going to get into that, but first, I want to welcome everybody because we are live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and LinkedIn Live. So thank you for joining us. I also want everybody to know because we are live on location, we are only going to be taking questions from LinkedIn today. So only questions from LinkedIn today. So if you have a question, you can put it in the comments there. All right, so here we go, everybody. We want to thank our sponsor, Forward Solutions Group, Ben Hershey and Joe Butler. You'll see their tickers and everything on there. These guys have been in the manufacturing and offsite business for over 100 years. They are the experts when it comes to getting into modular volumetric manufacturing capabilities. So please check them out. Forward Solutions Group, Ben Hershey, Joe Butler. Information is going to be in the ticker down below. So, all right. Here we are, Joe. Joe, I'm going to get his name right. Joe Shiamatero. You did great. I love it, Shiamatero. I won't get that at the end of the show. Joe, why don't you tell us a little bit about how one we met, and and then talk to us a little bit about what is Randall doing? I mean, Randall Construction. Tell us all about the, what you guys do. Yeah. Well, thank you first for uh, coming and for what you all do, and um, it's re really helping to bring awareness and advance uh, the offsite uh, construction space. So um, we, we, I mean, I've kind of followed uh, Dave and the channel uh, here and there over months or maybe a year, I don't know, right? Yeah. But, uh, but we connected here somewhat recently on an episode and I just shared some of what we were doing at Randall. And uh, so, you know, you're gracious to say, hey, let's, let's do a, a right. tour and take a look at it. So Randall is, um, Randall started out as a, a, a commercial mechanical subcontractor back in the mid 80s. Jeff Condell is the owner. And, um, and Randall has now become uh, a much larger sort of parent holding company with, um, uh, with, with almost 30 companies in total under the family umbrella. Right. And, um, and the majority of those are in the commercial construction space and a number of them are really uh, have an emphasis on offsite methods. So right. uh, modular uh, bathrooms and kitchens, which we'll see some of, and, and uh, panelization. Um, we hope to get to the prefabrication um, soon here in this plant, but that's uh, and right. then and then Randall Growth Partners is uh, is really kind of laid on top of that to help make sure that companies that either we may be launching or as desire to launch or companies that um, are emerging and uh, really would benefit by being wrapped around by, by another larger organization. Uh, that's part of our partners side, our acquisitions right, right. and mergers and just creating partnerships. So that's what Randall sure. Partners does. So obviously you guys, I'm sure you can hear the noise. So we're, I mean, we're going to be going over MEPs. We're going to be going over bathroom pods. We're going to be showing you uh, concrete panelized structures outside. Possibly if we have enough time, we'll get to the um, offsite elevator shafts that you ship all over the Northeast, maybe even the country. So we're going to go through a lot. This is going to be a really, really fun episode to go through. So why don't we start off with exactly where we're at and what building we're in and what's happening right here now? Sure. Well, we are at kind of a section of, uh, of, a, of the fabrication plant, metal fabrication. So this really is the largest metal fabrication facility in middle Florida. Certainly one of the largest in the state of Florida. But, uh, but um, so we have a, about two thirds of this entire plant that is, um, is fabricating sheet metal for ducts. And then we have about a third of it, and it's over 100,000 square feet. I just know, I should know, but uh, and, and about a third of it is uh, is our architectural ironworks and right. basically turn metal into wood and wood into metal group that yeah, can yeah. really do anything and does sure. that for some of the theme parks and right, right. so on. But um, well, yeah, I mean we're right here outside of Orlando, so theme parks I would imagine would be uh, you know part of your business as well as all the. Their hotels and resorts that are around. Correct. Yeah. You know, yeah. On, on the on the uh, ornamental side and the architectural and the metal side yeah. on the um, you know on the MEP side and, right. and so yeah we do a lot of work with the theme parks and yeah. some of the, basically our share of the largest most complex projects throughout Florida but certainly in the middle stretch yeah. of the state. I, I I love it. So we're going to start this tour in a second. But first, one more question: culture, culture in your business. From what we've even seen from the short time we've we've got here. Talking to the owner a little bit, you know, we had a chance to do that. Busy guy, has a lot going on. But the culture here is amazing. Yeah. The people that work here, it just seems like everybody loves it. 
Yeah, it is. A, it is a. Um, it's a. It's a very. Um, I mean, it would be cliche to start with family. So I'll start with some other stuff, even though I said family. Uh, right. It's a very focused. Um, a, 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 um, um, focus is really a, a good word for this culture. People who come here um, are serious about themselves and what they do for work. Right. And so um, I think that because we all have that in common, um, and, and Jeff Condello, the, the owner and founder and president and CEO of Randall, um, he's very, very involved in every one of the companies. And, uh, you know, his, his involvement still keeps that culture well intact. Right. He puts people first, but really is um, just a very astute entrepreneur and businessman. And, um, and so the combination of those really lets everyone know, one, that they're safe, there's stability at Randall. Yeah. Uh, we've gone through now multiple cycles uh, of downturns in the economy and a lot of employees get to get to remain part of the Randall family during, right. through downturns because of just philosophy there. But it's it is a it's definitely a, a family yeah, know, yeah. type of uh, right. organization. Yeah, yeah. It, tru it truly is. And, you know, speaking of which, at Dave Cooper Live, we are bringing you the people and the places and the processes that are doing it better. Everything from offsite construction, building science, we're here and also the building tech and all of that's involved in everything that they do here. All right, let's get into it. What in the world is that? So this is uh, th this is a piece of wrapped duct uh, that you know this is a, a large commercial application of, of duct work that right. is fabricated and insulated here. Um, so it, it'll come in. We'll we'll walk by some of the large raw material metal spools at a different part of the walk, but then it, it turns into. Um, you know, a, a piece of duct, right, a large right. piece of duct. So this so, is a large commercial. I mean, it's big. So think about the movies, and when you see them escaping through the ducts, yes. this is what they're escaping, escaping through. This. All right, so why I bring this up is, this is the traditional style of off-site or duct work, right? Yes. And you're gonna put these in sections at another part of the plant, and then they go out to whatever the job site is. Right. But there's now a lighter weight version of this that you guys have been working on and adding into your production line. And that's over here. So why don't we talk about it a little bit? Yeah, that's great. I'll show you a, um, it's a, it's a, a company called Kingspan. They, they're the, they're the, you know, creators and, and, and owners. Um, this particular product is called Cool Duck and, uh, Cool Duck with a K with, with a K is, um, it is, it's a lot lighter. Uh, it's a lot simpler to fabricate. Can I pick it up? You can. Yeah. I mean, it is, um, yeah. Literally, a child could maneuver this, and if this were metal, um, it would be a heavy, you know, that'd be a heavy insulated piece. Um, so it's it's roughly about, um, you know, over 50% uh, less time to fabricate right. this. It's, it it's probably 70% lighter than a, a, an equivalent piece of metal or sheet metal duct, um, and it performs, it rivals the performance of insulated duct. Yeah. Uh, some would even argue that it it's, uh, performs even better. So, it's about an inch thick, right? And this one is a little bit heavier because it actually has the wind baffles in here to make that 90 degree corner smoother and break down on the velocity. I don't know if you can see inside there, I'm not even gonna try. But to give you some idea, you can see a little bit of weight on that one, but this one, yeah, I mean that's what you're yeah. talking about right it, there. It, 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 it's just uh, yeah. it changes the the you know the duct uh, sure. game a little bit. So, <laughs> excuse me. The importance of all of this is pretty simple, right? It takes less labor to install, less machinery to lift overhead, right? It's easier to work with. Less you can hear it the tin knocking happening. Less tin knocking. That's right. So overall, this is a more streamlined process that's giving you the sidewalls and the insulation factors all in one. That's how I'm understanding it. Yeah, that's right. It's a, look, sheet metal is a, a, a great way to do duct. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, there's just, there's next generation methods that are also um, excellent. Right, alternatives right. Alternatives and sometimes superior choices. Yeah, and we're gonna get into bath pods and the other stuff, but this is all considered offsite. Now this is a component of offsite. So why don't we, Jen, why don't we walk over and start showing the bath pods over there I'll let you go in front of us so we're walking over. You'll see the guys working behind us. They're working on some duct work on that table back there. Um, but I mean, this place is huge. To walk it, you said it's like a quarter square mile? So the whole campus, which we won't cover uh, today, but the whole campus uh, for Randall is about a half a square mile. Half a square mile. Yeah, so it's, I mean, uh, that's absolutely amazing. Sorry for the sun, everybody. You might get blocked out. We're going to walk past you here, Jennifer, and come over here. Oh, look at this. We got. Dan, nice. Hi, how are you? 
Dan, nice. Nice. I'm nice to meet you. How are nice. you? Nice. I love it. Dan, nice. Oh, nice Dan, to meet nice. you. Dan, nice. Thank you for All being right, here, let me, buddy. Let me take this up. All right, everybody. Um, so here we are, Randall Outside Construction. We have a bath pod behind us. This is probably the same thing, but just ready to go out the door. Is that right? Correct. All right. Dan, why don't, here, why don't you hold that up and, and talk a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Dan Nice. I run the off-site division for Randall. Randall's been in the pod business since 2012 when we worked on the Contemporary Hotel at Disney off-site. Uh, we've been in business now for two years doing off-site construction, basically taking what is being built on this, in the field, bring it into our manufacturing facilities and industrializing it, standardizing it, and simplifying it and using machines and methods of construction that are taken from the auto industry. And we end up with a beautiful, repeatable product that goes back out to the job site and saves man hours. Right. So we have that back. So it, it is. It is a beautiful product. Why don't you walk us through a little bit of what we have going on in here? And I'll stand to the side. There you go. So what you're seeing here is you're seeing a shower pod with geometric three-dimensional tile in the back from Italy, and it's being constructed on a masonry. Uh, excuse me, on a uh, uh, mincy marble base. And then we have all the plumbing and all the electrical, custom built overhead, Schluter strips on the side, yeah, I see it. all reglets, all done, 100% complete, ready for the job site. Yeah, and just just like a lot of everything else in here, you're using metal stud walls, right? Now, and that uh, Aqua Tough is a yeah. paperless drywall that's abuse resistant and antibacterial and anti mold for the back. And then sure. the top is a composite ceiling that allows no mold, no mildew growth. No virus, no right. anything. Right, I, I mean, I love it. All right, so and this is going where? This is going to Indianapolis. We've installed roughly 90 units in a renovated building in downtown Indianapolis. In downtown Indianapolis. And we have, if you look over my shoulder right here, over out front. That, that'll be hard to show just because of the light, but it's another wrapped one just like this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah for sure. We have another 20 to go. We insert about 20 to 30 pods a day 20. into the building. 20 to 30 a day in the building. And this will save probably somewhere around 150 to 200 man hours on site. Awesome. And you will never get that quality of that pattern. Walk me through for everybody out there. You're on a job site. I'm assuming the floors, everything are in place. How does this get put in? So basically it's rolled into the position and we lift it off the pallet with special lifting apparatuses, remove the pallet and basically we have a thin set base and we set it down just like a big piece of tile. Right, right, right in place. Right, right there in 15 minutes. And then and it's on, the studs are open, plumbers get behind and make all the connections to the Actually, rough that's already up. the connections up. are on top and it's a whip. They're on they just top. just unroll the whip, make their hot and cold connections. Well, it makes sense, right? It's a hotel, so you have, run, you have runs to central lines. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Very cool. So what's the next evolution for your bath The pods? next evolution, though, is that we have a job with 48 units that's going in a wood frame structure that we're doing to complete plumbing, both vent, supply, and waste, all on the job site, along with a commercial flooring throughout the entire building. So yeah. Randall and all its aspects and all its wonderful companies are joining together to make it a very easy selection yeah. on job sites going forward. You know, this, that, that's kind of, you know, that you said that, Dan, because, you know, these super trades are what we're seeing a lot of, right? Where you yes. have the ability and a team and the culture to come in, do it, get it done right the first time versus, versus mix, mixing and matching. And that can be a very powerful tool for somebody to have, especially time is money and, you know, we're getting well, things done quickly. The biggest thing about Randall is we do all the coordination. So there's no fighting between the plumber, the electrician, yeah. the mechanical. We're all the same. So we give the customer the best possible outcome yeah. at the lowest cost price. We are the lowest cost product on the marketplace. Absolutely. Great. And we bring the highest value. Yeah, love it, love it. Well, Dan, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Here's your little I'll fist pump you here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hand that back over here. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All thank right. You, Joe, talk to me about where we're heading next down. Yeah, I think we'll uh, ultimately end up on the casting plant side out of the fab shop, so we can okay. walk down. I do. We'll, we'll just mention that while this is a this is a shower pod offsite. You know, we're in offsite, and, and Dan's background, which we didn't talk uh, about, but uh, Dan Dan was the president of, of one of the largest uh, um, um, modular bathroom and, and kitchen fabricators um, in the country, and 
Um, and so when, when, when he came to Randall, kind of, we appreciate having the opportunity to, to start here, but, but, but Dan's background and, and ultimately where this evolves to is really its own fabrication plant on a different part of this campus yeah. that's, that's recently been acquired where we're doing entire turnkey bathroom pods, okay. entire bathroom. Entire right? pod, yeah. Just to point that out too. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a great point. And uh, if you're just joining us out there, we are only taking questions uh, and comments on uh, LinkedIn Live today because we are live on location. We have a lot going on, big factory to get through. So if you have questions or comments, put them on LinkedIn Live. Uh, we are live though on Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn Live. So Jennifer, why don't we walk over here? I'll let you go. Uh, you can walk ahead of us here and we'll walk behind and you can show uh, we'll talk about what you're showing as we go through. So, so really, what do we have to the right of the camera right now? Yeah. So this is uh, this is kind of finished sheet metal. Yeah. Right? So um, part of this is uh, it's it's sort of finishing preparation, and then part of it is storage. Uh, ultimately, when we turn the corner, we're going to see that all of this all of this duct is going to get pushed up to the front of the plant. Yeah. Where then it'll get shipped out of uh, about eight or so bays. Okay. Uh, two or three times a week to job sites. Right. So that's kind of what we're seeing. And then, of course, we have, um, you know, equipment to facilitate. Uh, I mean, essentially, there's very little that, that we uh, yeah. that we are not able to fabricate. All right. So standing here, just because we don't have time, because we're going outside to see a whole bunch of stuff outside, too. I mean, this is a whole lot of duct work that we see here. You have water cutting CNC machines back here, right? So what's on the far end down here? Yeah, so the, the back third of this fabrication plant is uh, is really where Randall Architectural Ironworks uh, has is quartered, uh, where they have their equipment, and and they um, they they really they, you know they can they've done large um, you know external uh, metal projects right. at, uh, at the at the theme parks locally in Central Florida, and um, you know even even participated in, in some of the the, the, the major you know themes in terms of the metal right. uh, fabrication that's going on there. So Randall Architectural can, can really fabricate almost anything. And yeah. if you you won't be able to see it, but but they have uh, two different paint booths, just to kind of as an example. Right. One is a powder coated paint booth where it's just a dust free you know, paint booth. Yeah. Uh, for example, Disney would require it, require it on some of their applications. Um, and, uh, and then X outside of the fab shop, another much larger paint right. booth for industrial type sure. projects that get sure. painted. So uh, it's real architectural uh, at the back of the plant. I love it, I love it. All right, let's keep heading back this way here. Um, you know, Jennifer, why don't you turn around and we'll talk about what's on the left and right as we go to the next part. We're gonna walk for a minute. So yeah, as you're, as you're painting there, now we're looking at kind of receiving where, where you know part of the raw materials for, for metal the rolls uh, will will come in and and ultimately they'll get uh, they'll get measured and cut and sent to their respective places for fabrication and um, and then you know as we're kind of walking forward uh, this is where it finishes right so, so some of the final mounting if you will right? yeah. finishing is going to occur here and and then again, out of these bays up front, they'll get shipped out to their job sites a couple times. A couple uh, times to the front, right, right. I love it. So what you're seeing is we're getting ready to head down to those doors at the end. Um, and you're gonna see a lot more of the machines making a lot more of the duct work on the right and left. And all of this, like you said, really comes together in one large, you know, it goes out the door and not just in sections like this. You also put a good piece of it together for on-site on -site installation, yes? Yeah, yes, we do. I mean, we'll fabricate the whole thing, insulated uh, you know, sheet metal, right? Um, and uh, and then we install it, right? So so we, Randall has has really installed is 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 keeping you know, keeping people cold all over right. you know, Florida. In, yeah, you know, yeah. In terms of you know, we're, we're right now at the um, Orlando International Airport doing the expansion there, and uh, again have done some of the larger hotel applications right. in, in the parks and for downtown Orlando and UCF. And so. Sure, sure. So why don't we start here for a second and then, uh, all right, again, we're only in one of the plants. How many facilities do we actually have on location here before we go outside? <clears throat> so this is the metal fabrication plant. We're about to step onto the casting plant uh, where we'll, we'll kind of explore that a little bit. Um, so we have uh, probably three other areas that we may not get to today. Um, 
again, I mean, with the evolution of what, what Randall has become, right. we're, we're now doing, Randall at large is probably doing about 70% of, of, of every aspect of a commercial construction right. project, including vertical and interior in the building, the MEPs. Right. Um, and, um, and so there's, you know, there's other aspects, plus you gotta run all that corporately. Right. Uh, yeah, part, yeah. Of, part of our model, our, um, our business model, is that we, we wrap corporately around yeah. really all of our companies. And, and so that's providing all the, the back office services um, for, uh, for companies that really are situated across the state. We mm -hmm. have you know, offices really from um, uh, sort of joint venture in, in Jacksonville, right. and then offices all the way down to Miami over from Naples to Tampa and Clearwater. Sure. And so we just wrap around uh, those companies. And so we have sort of a, a corporate office space here that, that helps to support those. Um, fire protection, so yeah. mechanical, electrical, fire protection, um, plumbing. Yeah. yeah, I love it. All right, everybody. So we're heading across over uh, to the outside production facility where a lot of the concrete forms are being pulled. And uh, we're going to cross this this bridge here. Joe, tell us a little bit about this bridge we're getting ready to walk across. Sorry for having our back to everybody. We'll try and walk sideways. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is sort of generation one of the precast flooring system. So we we're going to show you some some precast walls. This is a composite product that's fabricated on this plant. It's it's concrete and um, and metal stud that's combined. We actually yeah. embed the the metal stud into the concrete, which we'll show you here in just a little bit. So this is this is a, a generation one of the flooring system. Right. We're just using it as a bridge here. But so this literally, you, know, you could lift this up and put it in buildings and you wouldn't have to pour monolithic on site is what you're saying. That's correct. Yeah, we, we, we yeah. pour here and we, uh, you know, we, we, we ship and we erect. Right, you right, know, right. Floors, walls. Got it, got it. Well, this is the stuff outside. that's going to get pretty cool. Hopefully Jen doesn't get hit by that concrete truck behind her. All okay. right, let's walk over here. So we have George Ryman. Good to see you, my friend. Buzz Holitzer, good to see you as well. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Thanks for uh, commenting. All right, so what are we entering right now? Yeah, so this is uh, kind of the, the, the front quarter, co corner of Let's what walk over presently here. is yeah. uh, the working part of this, uh, this part of the campus is about six acres of, 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 of precast. Right, right. Um, and uh, we have recently acquired another uh, 10 or so acres immediately adjacent. Right. Uh, so a couple of years ago, this was all, uh, um, metal buildings for, uh, right, for right. Uh, flowers, sure. really. So we uh, we demoed those and, and put a casting plant here over the past couple of years. Right. And so it's um, it's it's led by a gentleman by the name of Mark Shoemate, and, and Mark uh, right. has uh, run a, a very large statewide precast uh, plant. He had a masonry That's... background prior to that. Right, right. And, um, so Let's we, go over this way over here, Jen. We, we produce a lot of uh, different types of, uh, of, com of composite products. Here. Okay. Um, so we're a Florida Department of Transportation certified uh, plant. Yep. So there's various different products that we'll point out. Okay. Pole bases and, uh, yeah. and, and sound walls and MSC panels. Um, what we're walking up to is, a, uh, we'll, we'll kind of show you our own proprietary wall system. Okay. So this is for uh, structural buildings, right? So yep. we, we walked over the floors, right here. and here's an example of our walls. So um, that's a, a you know precast, precast wall system. And uh, if we if we wrap yep. around to the back side, I don't I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Um, yep. Well, here's what we have. I mean, we got about a four inch wall, maybe three inch on the front, four inch on the side, and then you have your metal studs here. And then you have your opening so you can run wires or whatever else needs to run through this wall all the way to the window opening. John, you could probably get this, right? So the window's already pre-installed as well. That's right. So in the design, it's decided, is, are the windows going to be installed on, uh, off-site yeah. here or, or on-site? It's, it's kind of a decision that has to do with logistics and so on. But, um, but the, and the wall panels can be painted here on-site as well. Right. Which those we saw the on the other side. I think those are painted, aren't they? These yeah. are painted, yeah. And I'll yeah. show you some... some uh, uh, what, 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 we, what we apply to the surface of this particular panel and, and why. But yeah, we embed the, uh, the metal stud into the concrete. Right. And this is, um, you know, this is a, a patent pending, you know. Process and what you have here, sure. Yeah, I mean, we have, uh, I, I've seen something similar to this. You know, we use for foundation walls in the Northeast. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure it's the same, same 
Same thing. I love it. I think it's great. That's really cool. All so, right. <coughs> what are we? We're gonna get out of this. Before we leave the walls, I'll, I'll okay. just show you that these are just some examples of the um, you know the front of these panels. Yeah. yeah. Saw it, if you will. That's heavy. Th they can really be See that, John? anything that an owner desires. Essentially anything. So right. this is just created from a form liner, and it goes. It really is created for the bottom of a four. Right. So every panel can can look like stone. It can look like wood. Stucco. Um, it's you know stucco. Oh yeah, it does brick. look like wood. Look at that. You, you can see that there's you know we yep. applied brick over on the on okay, the building here. We there. Go. Yep. So it really has great versatility to it. Um, we use a cork, a cork. So that's a stamped concrete brick. Well, it, it's uh, in, in a way, it's 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 stamped. Yes, it's poured into the form. form. So right, okay. Uh, it, it, essentially, it's, it's it's like a stamp. Yeah, but even the brick, right? It's poured into a form, yeah. and you would never be able to tell the difference. You really wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. So wood, stone, yep. brick. Uh, that, well, that that really helps. You know, obviously with with offsite, I think the perception has been how limited right over the years or generations offsite maybe. Um, doesn't offer sure for, for owners or for architecture engineers whatever right. you but uh, so we're, we're glad to be part of seeing it and, know, and the commercial it. side of offsite I could actually see this already being applied at the modular manufacturer this could actually be be installed right at the factory and then and then on let me grab that so, so um, all right so we also have behind us here let's turn um, are they pouring the walls over there? Is that what we're seeing? Well, I, I, I can't see over this truck. I don't know exactly what we're pouring, but uh, uh, here's a no doubt. here's a question. Let's let's get to that real quick. Well, Jen's, uh, are you using high strength or lightweight concrete? George asks. Yeah. Well, we we should have one of our technical yeah, guys. guys come over and talk. I mentioned to, today before we started. I uh, <laughs> he's I, not the I tech guy. this tour at a at a very yeah. high level. So, so uh, why don't we do that? We'll, if we have, we'll, we'll address that when we get over to those guys in the concrete, because he's asking about rebar and, and, and some other things as well. Yeah. All right, let me step out of the way so we can kind of show the picture here. Um, all right, Jen, so tell me what we have. If you look down here, Jen, you see the truck already getting ready to set up and, and what have you. Joe went to get a technical guy, so we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have a technical guy with us in, in short order. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into some of these questions, George. I really appreciate it. But we're going to walk this whole line all the way to the prefabricated elevator shafts as well. And because uh, I'm interested, I think these are part of the forms they're pouring right here on site. So we should have somebody to, to do that. Jen, why don't we walk this way a little bit and just kind of show what they're doing over Because I believe he's actually stamping. So he, he is putting some stamps in and what he's doing, but these are all forms. Those are those block forms that we just saw on the backside here. Is this what we were just looking at? Uh, these smaller pieces, or what are we looking at right here? This, uh, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> it's a good question, I love it. So, so sorry. That's all right. All right, so this is the wall section over here. Is this correct? Like, what are they pouring these guys over here? So these are uh, these are Let's forms for the um, the elevator and and stair shafts right. that will will kind of show you some finished products in a moment. So um, these are um, these are vertical pour, right? right? Um, and and so what we have uh, in addition to the walls and the floor system, uh, we've also essentially created and have a patent on elevator and stair precast shafts that go in right and those really have uh been just very in demand yeah because they they go up very quickly we fabricate them here uh they stack right and so we we take those to a job site so for example a four or five story uh, multi-family application we would be setting you know multiple shafts uh in a day in right a right so yeah, yeah. um so it, it it cuts the schedule construction schedule quite sure, a bit. Sure, sure. And um, so these are, this is kind of where we pour for our uh, elevator station. Right, right. Which so, is interesting. So Joe, just so everybody knows, Joe is a, is in uh, is M&A here, right? right. So yeah. uh, uh, I'm yeah, not the construction Mergers guru, and acquisitions, so he's not the construction guru, but there are plenty of them out here and we're gonna, we'll get to some of those yeah. as well. So 
we're gonna have the overview of what we're doing. All right, let's keep walking and, and let's talk about some more and we'll get to the end and find the, the people with some answers. You know, Look at thing, that big thing. That's like what they use to move boats. Yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, it's, it's fun to see, to see big pieces of equipment moving uh, big, big pieces of concrete. But uh, one thing that I also wanna kind of talk a little bit about is, um, you know, is our uh, is our is our development uh, of right. of of both our talent here, but also uh, a school that we have uh, for the yeah. community. So, so Randall has partnered with Orange County Public Schools (OCPS), okay, uh, one of the larger school systems in the nation here in Orlando, and um, and so we have a, a public high school that sits on Randall campus, sort of at the back. Uh, of of the property, we have a, uh, a ten thousand square foot you know high right. school there, yeah. and it's called Randall Academy. So it's, yeah. a, it's a public private partnership with OCPS, um, and so those students get uh, their education until mid morning, mid late okay. morning, yep. and then they come and they take a position, a paid part time position here within Randall across the campus for the rest right, of yeah. the day until they're until they go home. So it's it's something that is uh, is important. One neat thing to um, to kind of point out about Jeff, Jeff Condello, uh, the, the founder and owner of Randall, is um, he uh, he's from small town Pennsylvania. Um, hey, married, I'm from PA. Yeah, Love it. Yeah. Uh, he, he he married his high school sweetheart Deborah. They have two sons, both are in the business. Yeah. Uh, and um, and Jeff never Jeff was in the the trade program his sophomore, junior, senior right. year of high school. Yep. And uh, and really went straight into the workforce. You know, learning from there. He actually right, right. Tried to make an arrangement with uh, with with, uh, with an owner up in Pennsylvania who, who had a plumbing company that he didn't have to pay him uh, to employ him, but as long right. as as long as Jeff could learn everything that he knew at the end of the day. Yeah, so yeah. he didn't end up getting paid something for that, but uh, really started that way. So so that was you know that's important to Jeff is that is that youth have an opportunity early to start learning. Right. That is. It's not something over the over the past twenty or thirty years uh, that is too available within our public school systems. And so we're glad to be partnering with OCPS to allow students to come and start to experience the trades. Right, OCPS, Orange County Public schools. Public Schools. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's so important. I, this is something really to understand about Randall uh, and, and other. There's other. There's some other companies around the country are doing similar. But bringing the youth into our trades and bringing the youth into what we're doing is super, super important. Um, John, I just want to make sure that you guys can hear us okay out there with all the background and that uh, you can hear Joe okay as well. So give me a thumbs up. Um, but yeah, I think that, you know, we need more youth into it. I mean, the Orange County public school system is not a small school system, is no. it? It's. I think it's the sixth largest or so in the nation. Yeah. Um, and and. And there, in OCPS and the superintendents, this this school falls under the alternative education umbrella. Yep. Um, and they're just very excited to uh, to be stepping into a way to reach the community and our youth okay. with opportunities to learn yeah. trades. Um, so we, we really expect to probably expand that school significantly. Yeah. We're kind of baiting it at a at a you know at a at a manageable level first year. Sure. This is our first year. Right. And right. then we actually. Um, we actually started that with a vision also to have a, a, a trade institute, yep. you know, a construction trade institute. And uh, so we, we hope to get there as well. Maybe we'll get back to focusing on that. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, Let me take this off so we can hear. Uh, yeah, let's uh, All right. introduce All right, so a couple we, of others. We, we got the knowledgeable ones. Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, here's the construction expertise, Grant. How are you? So, you want to introduce hi, yourself? Hey, I'm, I'm Dave. Grant Richardson. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Andrea Bauer. Andrea Bauer. Nice to meet you. We're going to split you here. If you can yep. grab your mic and make good, sure good. so we you hold it up so they can hear. All right, we got a we got a lot of questions. All right, and so we're hoping you have answers. I got to get back. So if the first question was on the uh, concrete. Is it lightweight concrete or? No, we do do a light Sorry. we do do a lightweight concrete on our floor panels, but right. most of what you see is the regular weight yeah. concrete. If you hold the mic up, see that's the mic. Yeah, yeah. Don't push the button though. No. Um, so it is re it is regular concrete. Jen, do me a favor and, and log yourself back into that so I can see it. Um, what do we got going on right here? We were looking at earlier uh, behind Jen here where they were laying. It looked like he was walking by and stamping a name in it. Exactly. Electrical, those are safety markers for a FDOT vendor that they are burying underground to mark electrical line. So those were to bury underground to mark electrical lines. And that's, that's not poured on site, that's all done 
precast here. Yes, and delivered to the site. My goodness, so who would have thought that? Thanks, Jen. All right, let me get to the, oh, did it again. Here, take that. Inside of this, are they just solid concrete or do they actually have? No, there's no reinforcement in those. There's no solid reinforcement. concrete. There's no reinforcement. We're falling apart at the seams here, aren't we? Let me, my goodness. Um, all right, let's get back to it. Jen, what are some of the other questions? Yeah, set on. Yeah. Hold the, hold the mic up. So what, what was the type and size aggregate that you're using? We, we use a blend. It's a 57 and 89 stone blend. So, I mean, it's just regular concrete then for the most part, right? Yeah, we use a, a SCC, which is a, a self-consolidating concrete, which is almost self-level. It does self-level. Got it, got it, got it. I love it. And how, how, how long do these forms take to actually cure while they're in the forms here? Um, we, we, we do cylinders on them and they break them the next morning. Okay. Make sure we break, we, we get demold strength. Usually we can get them in about 12 hours. Okay. Sometimes you see all these heater bottles. We put heat on them at night to be able to, to keep the, the temperature up so we get our breaks every day. Yeah, yeah hold the mic up. Yeah, that's okay. All right, so that's a good thing. So behind us, talk to me a little bit about what is there. What are those? Uh, the, the, Show that, Jen. The blue forms, what you're seeing is our stair forms. Um, the flat cast ones in front of us with the rebar in it, those are actually cladding panels for a big uh, marina down in Fort Lauderdale. And that's what you see loading on these trucks behind me will be all these flat cast ones. We have stairs in the first blue ones you see, and yep. then on the other side, they're elevator forms. All right, so we have we have stairs precast, we have elevator forms precast. I mean, so there's a whole lot, and then over those sides over there. I mean, are there, is that like where bridges go across? Crazy rundown. We don't do bridge work, but um, we do the stairs, elevators, flat cast. Right. Uh, we do the ped bases for all your street signs and stuff on the interstate. Sure, sure. And do we do we have an elevator shaft down here we can show everybody? Uh, we don't have one installed. Um, that's okay. I got what a, a book what a, of, of some. What about what's on the truck here? So these are precast forms. Right. What's on the truck is going to down down to Fort Lauderdale for a big uh, marina. There's okay. Cladding panels going on a, a big steel structure down there. I love it. I love it. I love it. So why don't you tell, what, what is your job responsibility here? I'm the chief estimator here at the precast division. Chief, chief estimating. See, they always put the smart ones. I know it. I know it. So how busy are you right now? Extremely busy. Yeah. Yeah. Nonstop. I mean, she has she has the glasses the glass eyewear on. She's like, I gotta go. I got a lot of stuff to do. Um, well, how and how long have you been at Randall? Uh, I've been here uh, almost a year. Almost a year. And what do you think so far? I enjoy it. Yeah, it's nice, right? It's a heck of a culture here. And and how about yourself, Grant? Tell I love this. He has his name on his helmet. I don't have to remember anything. Grant, tell tell us a little bit about your background and how long you've been here. Um, I, I started back um, two years ago in March. Okay. When we got here, basically, it was just to, they just cleared the greenhouses out. So we basically built the plant, commissioned all the forms. Um, I actually have crews out installing right now. We're in Jacksonville installing the elevator shaft, the dual elevator shaft, and a stairwell today. So all those trucks kind of went right. out this morning. So you just don't form them. You actually go out with a boom truck and put them in place. You got it. Yeah, I mean, that is great. So. You got the actual fabrication here and you got the technical expertise in the field doing it. So measurements just have to be right for it to fit. That's, That's it, it, right? That's it. We got to get it right here for it to be right out there. Right, right, right. So what's the furthest you guys go? You said up to Connecticut? Well, I think we're, we're shipping the, uh, we're shipping the, the, Take the, the mic. elevator yeah, shafts. We're shipping the elevator shafts and, and the stairwells. I don't know which, but um, yeah, th those, uh, those cut a lot of, of, of a construction schedule. That's the big advantage to them. So they, they become, you know, the, 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 the even the cost to ship. Right, it's, right. It's still reconciled. We're shipping those up the East Coast. Uh, but we, I think we do most of our work in, in Florida, really, because yeah. there's a lot of its panel and, and FDOT sure. work. Uh, one thing I think would be would be good to just open up a little bit more is kind of the, the walls and the floors just on the building system side. Yeah. But what are we doing there? Where are we going there a little bit? Right. Um, that's more a more question. Okay. Um, you, I pretty much go out and put it up, but usually we can typically put up two elevator, two four story or five story elevator shafts 
in in one day with, wow. uh, with a five man crew. Um, and the stairs, we usually do one stairwell a day. So two four story elevator shafts in how many days? In one day. In one day. So that's basically one hotel a day. In, in theory, right? Yes. And, and to do that, masonry otherwise would have you that would take about what? Yeah, about time. three weeks. Yeah, about so three weeks. Yeah, yeah. The schedule cut right there. George, George says measure measure twice, pour once. <laughs> so it's fine. I'm getting some comments. All right. Well, I love it. I'll let you guys get back to what you're doing, Grant. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank good. You. Good luck with the estimating and welcome aboard. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up here in a second. So one thing I wanted to ask you that was new to me was, um, you know, uh, what was it? The office, uh, family office. Yeah. And what that truly means, you know, because I don't think a lot of people have ever heard that before. Yeah, I mean, um, family offices, uh, you know, they are getting a little bit more traction in, in terms of being more visible. A family office is is, is really a, uh, you know, a, somebody who has private net worth and they are getting organized around how they make investments alternatively, you know, often. That's not the right. textbook definition, but, and, and so really all of this, Jeff Condello ha has, um, has, has really never brought in external partners okay. to, to create this portfolio of, of construction companies. Randall also has, um, I think right now it's seven or eight companies in, four other industries outside of construction as well. So we're taking that same same model to wrap around companies uh, with the back office, with the finance and accounting, the talent acquisition, the purchasing, right. the, uh, the communications and branding, and really help companies and owners. And when they come into the Randall family, they get to kind of have that done for them right. as a part of the family. And so, um, so, so family offices, um, you know, is, is really just how does um, how does a private you know, person who has you know, net worth right organize his investments and in particular into um, at, you know into investments that might be alternative sure. so construction or real estate or, or private equity or what have you right. uh, or growing or buying businesses or, or growing them so we just embrace that sure. and that is a part of, of what we've done to uh, to create uh, Grant you, may have something to show you got something to show us Grant. Coming back, he likes the camera. Yeah, these, are, these are just some of the, the complete Right, projects. here, let's show those to the, John, if you can zoom in. Gotcha, so what is that on the left there? Is that the elevator? The elevator in Fairfield up in Tallahassee. Okay. Um, and there's another uh, elevator shaft. Just going in. And we also have a masonry division, so we don't only do the shafts, we do all the masonry too. Okay. Pretty big project. Yeah. Wow, oh, right. So that's what four stories then. Yeah. Give or take. Love it. So Grant, that'll go up in a day. That'll go up in a day, and that's the inside of the shaft. We also fire caulk it as we go. Okay. So yep. when we leave, we're done. Love it, love it. And then so the everything's ready to go. Installed, ready to go. Yep, for the elevator company. So they just need to come and do their install then. Right, right, right. right. Grant, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Definitely. All right. What's next for Randall? What are you guys looking to do here in the future? Well, I, I think that what I was asking uh, Grant, if, if uh, he would kind of share, our shoemate um, has, our shoemate's the general manager for the precast division. Yeah. I mean, one thing that we really haven't discussed or addressed is that every one of the companies that um, are on this campus, and there are about 15 construction companies, if we could keep walking the campus, we'd yeah. see additional capabilities and trades and, and companies, and everyone is responsible for itself and is a company you know managing its own business in the market and that integrates together right right um, and so the 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 the, 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 the precast we believe is is part of the evolution yeah. we won't call it necessarily disruption yeah, I think yeah. conventional construction will always be around there'll be a purpose and need and, but when you can off when you can when you can fabricate and you can almost manufacture off-site and then as as, as this audience community Appreciates, right? Um, and and take it and erect or 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 connect because you've prefabricated it. We really believe that, and so I think where we're going is in that direction where we, we can do a whole lot on an integrated basis. From uh, we have a we have um, you know we have some internal uh, engineering capabilities uh, from from structural to mechanical and electrical 
Um, we have a site development company, right. which has internally its own surveying division and roads and curbs division. So on the horizontal side and the engineering pieces, and then vertical, um, we're now you know putting preparing right to put yeah, up some yeah. of our first Randall uh, structures, and then we're already being relied upon by some of the largest general contractors in the country. You know. So when you say Randall structures, what's that mean? Well, that, that's the building. The building it's itself. The building yeah. itself. Yeah. And then we're already doing a high majority of, of what's inside the building. Yep. But what, it's easier to just describe what Randall doesn't do at this point yep. than what we do do. <laughs> yeah, um, right, I so mean, you do a lot. We, we do a lot. The things we don't do yet are the roofing and drywall and um, doors and windows and yeah. glazing. Uh, but we're doing a lot of the rest of the building sure. with different companies in the, in the Randall right, family. Right, right. Well, and offsite's kind of a, is important for your success as well to always be looking at faster, better ways to be more efficient on site. And you're showing that all around how you keep innovating with different processes. Absolutely. And we, we additionally, going back to the, the, the student and the learning and the education yeah. side, we are excited about Randall Academy on the high school. I love we that. do have vision yeah. to, um, to, to really create a, a vocational trade institute. It might be, Randall has become one of Central Florida's largest privately owned companies now. Um, under a single owner, yeah. and uh, according to OBJ, but but one of the largest companies uh, by both revenues and employers, and um, we you know we we hope to continue to innovate in the education space and 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 being being a point where the Central Florida community or Florida at large um, will have ways to you know maybe reskill, maybe upskill, right, right. or if it's students or college age you know adults that uh, they really know that there's options and they actually right. have, yeah. uh, and we have some great colleges and great trade programs as well, but Florida just doesn't stop right, adding right. people yeah, and yeah. having a need for more construction. Sure, so sure. just to facilitate you know, more, and we, we take that very seriously. That's part of our innovation right. paradigm uh, is, to, is to be part right. of the education innovation too. And it's great to hear that. And we're seeing a lot more, in, you know, companies like yourself, colleges starting to offer more, you know, basic offsite construction. Uh, and I think that being a part of it's the only way we're going to move this industry forward. There's no other two ways about it. Yeah. The trade schools aren't out there like they used to be. Yeah. And I think that what you guys are doing to help drive that forward, we would love to be a part of that, you know, conversation moving forward because part of our goal here at Dave Cooper Live is the same thing. How do we get the young people involved? How do we keep our trade going? Because, you know, we'll keep doing it the same way if we don't get some fresh young minds looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's super important. So. To you and Randall and Jeff and everybody else in this organization, I think that's a big deal. Yeah. Well, so, thank you as well for what you're doing yeah. to highlight and feature and and really you know cultivate greater awareness and yeah. and also and, and bring together this community too. It's uh, offsite and you know, alternative construction methods, uh, right, right. modern methods, modern are, methods are, are really uh, yeah. they're not going anywhere. They're going to yeah. continue to I believe uh, take more and more market share and show their their place in right. the construction world. And that's exactly it. And so as modular and volumetric and panelized construction becomes bigger and bigger here in Florida, you have solutions to infill on all of those projects, whether it is wall and tile, whether it is foundation wall systems, grade beams, uh, utility markers, right? George Ryman, you know, if that was utility markers over there, George. Elevator shafts, you know, I'm hoping to see a big boat come up there soon so we can go for a <laughs> ride. Um, well, listen, everybody, we are live LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Hey, you know why we're on Twitch? I don't. Dave. That's where all the young people are. Oh, that's where they play they their video games. Twitch? That's what they do. Okay. All right, right? That's so great. that's where all the young folks are. So listen, once again, I want to thank our sponsor, uh, Joe Butler, Ben Hershey, Forward Solutions Group. Uh, check out the link and uh, in, in their email addresses uh, in the ticker below. Uh, we are at Randall Construction, which is doing a lot of construction here on site. But you guys are also doing it off site. And they're, they, they have turnkey solutions, which I think is great. They don't just leave a customer hanging after their product's done. My hat's off to you. Right, some of the things that we didn't talk about, which I, I'm not trying to get into, but you know, <laughs> tilt, tilt Wall is a, yeah. is a, is a division that, that you know, is pretty large that we have. And so they do work really in the Southeast region, just putting up tilt walls, right? right. So it's, a, it's, it's an on-site method, yeah. but it is alternative to traditional conventional. So for people to understand the tilt wall method, think of this, you're driving down the highway and you see these huge distribution centers with these big concrete walls. Basically, a lot of those distribution centers will pour that wall on site Right? You're doing it here on site, and then they would have a big crane lift that wall into place. So if you're ever wondering how those walls get built, they're not, they're not formed and poured, 
they're, they're, they're formed and poured flat on, 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 the, off -site. on the foundation. You pour the foundation. So, yeah. and that's a totally different business, the Randall Tilt Structures. Yeah. And we're doing that across the state, right. you know, and into Georgia as well. Different than precast, where we're pouring the panels here offsite. Sure. Like we talked about, that's on site, right. um, but it's, it's well, another method. So, Joe, as we travel, because we're getting ready to start our road show, this just kind of came up in the last week, and we said, yeah, we can make this work. And I think it's been great. You know, you are in Georgia, we're going to be in Georgia, we're going to be in Alabama and other parts of Florida. If you have some big structures going up, it might be a good place for us to stop and show just another form of off-site construction. What do you think? That would be great. Yeah, I love it. We'll look into the kind of the the, the pipeline and, and try to align our paths. Perfect. That would be awesome. All right, everybody. I'm Dave Cooper. Dave Cooper Live. We are on location, out and around. What what is the name of the town? I can't. Okay. Uh, uh, Apopka. Apopka, which is right Orlando. Which yeah. is right outside of Orlando. I may go Orlando. I may go say hi to Mickey and Minnie Mouse here when I am done. We will be live again. When are we live again? Tomorrow, right, Jen? Two or one o'clock p.m. tomorrow on uh, building. I can't even know what day I'm on anymore. Increasing oh. influence. Hey, guess what? We're staying in Florida too with Bill Ryman from uh, Ryman uh, Construction, the Real Build Podcast. So we have another podcaster on. He's doing amazing work in South Florida. So join us at one o'clock. I'm Dave Cooper. I'm going to say Joe C. So I don't mess up his name on the way out. Charge of M and A here. So. Listen, everybody, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye now.